gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake really utilized this family-friendly Halloween event to boost those on the Republican ticket, those who may not be polling as well as she is. And this is the first time this week we have heard from uh, senatorial candidate Blake Masters. Thank you. He really talked about how immigration and the migration that we're seeing at the southern border has an impact here in Arizona, and that is the main focus of what he was talking about today. So what did these geniuses think was going to happen when they threw open our borders and invited the whole world to come here? You think that might cause a crisis? Yeah, that's going to cause a crisis. And not only did they throw open the border and say, come on in, they said, we won't deport you. Here's an incentive. We're going to pay you. Here's cash. Here's a cell phone. I've seen these people, uh, these illegal aliens, they get on these buses. You've seen the white buses? We, the taxpayers, are paying for that. They bust them up to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. And, and the Biden administration has been running midnight flights out of Phoenix Sky Harbor, flying illegal aliens to wherever they want to go in our country, except Martha's Vineyard. No, don't go to Martha's Vineyard, right? A lot of the candidates here also made a lot of punny references, Halloween jokes about their opponents. I'll tell you the scariest thing. Scarier than any ghost, any vampire, any monster. The scariest thing I can imagine right now would be Katie Hobbs as governor. Who agrees with me? I've been willing to do that. My opponent's chicken. You saw my opponent's here today. You saw the chicken that came up, right? Who, there's Katie Hobbs back there. Wave your, wave your wings, Katie. Time for Katie to fly away. You know, I thought about dressing up as an astronaut, but then I thought, we already got a senator for Arizona who's an astronaut. He's not doing a very good job, is he? The question is, are a lot of these candidates up and down the ticket here in Arizona, Republicans, are they going to be boosted by the name recognition of Kerry Lake? Uh, that is unclear, but we'll have to see in just a couple of days. For the Washington Examiner, I'm Samantha Joe Roth.